me a quick first impressions video of a new fragrance I got from Alexandria Fragrances. This is their version of Afternoon Swim. It is called Afternoon Splash. Uh, I have not smelled this yet. I don't know anything about performance projection, um, anything like that. I am going to give it a wearing today. And I will update you all like I usually do in the comments section about that. I am also going to be doing a Clone Wars comparison of Alexandria's version and Dua's because those are the two most popular clone houses right now. Uh, I will compare those two and I will do a further more in-depth clone house comparison at a later point which will include Essential Obsessions, uh, King Fragrances, as well as Making Sense. Uh, and then again, do it in Alexandria. And I will directly compare those to the original. So those will all be coming down a pipeline. But this is just kind of my first impressions, my initial take, and, um, you know, what I think of this fragrance. I have not sprayed it. Admittedly, I did smell the atomizer when I got it, and it's strong off the atomizer. It smells really good. So anybody who's familiar with this, it's a very simplistic um you know, fragrance, it's similar in regard, that regard to Tigar, a lot of people try to say they smell the same. Tigar, and they, they do in a way, because they're both very simplistic three note fragrances. Tigar, however, focuses on grapefruit. This, the focus is on orange, uh, Sicilian orange, there's another type of orange, and there's also bergamot. Um, so that's really what makes up the fragrance. Now, it also smells like this clearly in Brox and some other additives in there. Uh, to you know, help push it and give this kind of bite to the fragrance that you certainly pick up. This the original is known to be a performance slouch, so it smells good, but it doesn't perform very well. That was the kind of the main reason uh, a lot of people were wanting Clone House versions of it. I like I said, I have tried Duos and everything else. I'm not going to get into a comparison right now on that. Like I said, I will do a review on those a Clone Wars review, but. This smells so fresh and crisp off the atomizer already. Oh yeah. Yeah, this smells really good. Oh, wow. So really what you get with this is again, orange essentially. You get this very bright, crisp citrus, a very and this one smells really realistic. It smells like you just peeled an orange. That that smell you get from a juicy orange, you know, as soon as you peel the, the rind off of it, that's what you get. And again, it smells like there's also an embroxin behind it, kind of giving more depth to the scent, so it's not just so simplistic and also helping push it out. Oh, but this smells good. I will say this. Based off of my memory of what Duo smelled like, this smells better. This smells realer. It smells more natural. It smells crisp, fresh. Yeah, but I'll need to do like a side by side comparison to, you know, it's been a while since I've worn Duas, but just from the top and what I'm smelling now, this is better. Um, obviously, I won't know until I do a direct comparison, but, and I also won't know about performance longevity until I wear it. So, like I said, I'm going to make this my scent of the day today. I will do a follow-up, um, you know, in the comment section regarding performance projection, uh, that kind of thing. And then when I do the Clone Wars video, I'll also touch on all that prior uh, or throughout the video as I'm doing the comparison. So anyway, I have three other samples I am going to be doing comparisons of um, or reviewing. One is Sweetest Dude and another member was generous enough to offer to send me sample of the real thing because I have not smelled the real thing so I compare compare this to that uh, I will also be doing I know um, do has a version I believe and I know King's fragrances is coming out with a version very soon so I'll do a clone wars on that as well green envy same thing uh, this is parfums de Marley greenly their version Alexandria's version I do have Dua's, which is really good, um, and I know Essential Obsessions is coming out with a new version, as is King, so I will do a comparison with all of those in a Clone Wars video with the original as well. Um, and then I have a King Tut I'll be doing first impressions on as well. So I got, I'm going to be doing videos on all of those. Um, my next video, like I said, will probably be the Prince video from Luxador. I also need to get my... Um, 
you know, just my fall list together. I'm going to do a designer niche um, as well as one just from general from clone houses, a collective clone houses, basically, and what my favorites are from uh, those houses.